Hello everyone, this is me, Teacher Mats. Here's a tutorial video on how to use Skype for your online classes, and I'll be sharing also with you guys the Skype Update 2020. Now let's begin. First, you have to go to Skype.com. Then download Skype and create your Skype account. Once you're done creating your Skype account, you need to log in with your Skype ID and password. So here's how it looks like after logging into your account. These are your contacts or your students. But if you don't have any contact yet, so here's how to add a contact. Go to the search box, then type the Skype ID of the person or student that you wanted to add. Then you may click this Say Hi button, or you can type a personal message to your student. For example, Hi, Ru. This is Teacher Mats. Please add me up. Thanks. So, after typing your message, click this to send or simply press the enter key but of course i'm not going to send this because this is just a sample message i'm just showing you guys how to do it if you want to change the student's name and you prefer to just put there the student's nickname then you can edit it here kasi madalas di ba ang hirap i-memorize yung real names nila kaya i always ask them for their nicknames or english names then yung iba halo same name pa sila di ba so Ang hirap tandaan if sino-sino sila, lalo na kapag sobrang dami mo ng students. And speaking of sobrang dami ng students, here's a tip for you guys. If meron kayong students na hindi na nagka-class with you, let's say it's been a month na and hindi na nagbubook yung students sa class mo or hindi na nag re enroll si students sa'yo, here's what you should do guys. Segregate your inactive students from the active students. So, to all of your active students, add them to your favorites. Just turn it on like this. So that all of your active students mapupunta sa taas yan sila. So, madali nilang hanapin yung names nila when you make a call and have a class with them. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. How to make a call. So, you can choose here if it's gonna be an audio call or video call. Well, let's try making a video call. Now, the student answers the call. Alright, so this is my camera and this is the student's camera but he turned off his cam so you could not see his face. If you want to record your class, then go here and click start recording. And by the way, you can also choose or change your virtual background here. You can blur your original background or choose a background that you like. And you can even upload a photo if you want to have a personalized virtual background like a logo for example of your school. For the microphone function, simply click this if you want to mute your microphone. Then click it again to unmute it. And same goes to your camera. Click it here to enable camera. Then click it again to enable it. Next, if you want to share your screen to your student, let's say you're going to share a YouTube video or you wanted to show something to your student, here's the share screen. So you can choose here if what you want to share to your student if it's going to be the entire screen of your computer or just the Skype screen. 
or maybe just a selected file that you want to share to your student. Don't forget to turn on the share computer sound so that the student would also hear the sound of the video that you are sharing with. And next is the chat box. So if you are going to type a message or give corrections to your student while making a call, just go here, then type your message. What's nice about Skype is when you have a typo error of your message, you can edit it like this. Or you can totally remove your message. And here are the emojis if you want to react to the student's message. If you want also to insert emojis to your message, you can go here. And here's another tip for you guys. I use the emojis for the rewarding system. Whenever my kids students get a correct answer, I give them star emojis or sometimes the food that they love like ice cream, pizza, or cake. So they're always happy to get emojis from me and this is also my way of motivating my students. Next, here's how to send files or photos. Simply drag and drop the file to the chat box or you could also do it this way. Click attach file like this. But for me, the easiest way is the drag and drop. Now if the class is over, then simply click this one to end the call. If you recorded your class, then you will see like this after you ended the call. As you can see here, it says recordings are available for 30 days only. So make sure to download the recording if you want to keep it. Because after 30 days, you cannot open and view this recording anymore. Okay, now punta naman tayo sa group class. For the Skype update 2020, here's how it looks like when you have a group class. By the way, for a Skype group call, you can add or invite up to 50 contacts to join in your group call. And this is also what I use for my ESL trainings. Mas convenient siya for me than using Zoom for my trainings. I like Skype more kasi unlimited din yung recording time niya. And also, most of my classes are done on Skype. So, andun lang lahat ng online classes and trainings. For me, mas madali ko lang na-access and na-check if there are messages from my students or trainees without switching from one app to another. A new feature added is also this one, raise hand. You could only see this when you have a group call and I think this is really useful when having a group class. So your students will simply click raise hand if they wanted to answer the question. Then click again to lower hand after they are being called. So for me, it's a cool addition. And lastly, we have here the meet now. Just like Zoom, you can now host a meeting or webinar using Skype. So, you can create a meeting here. Then, just copy the link and paste it to your email or social media posts. Or send the link to your contacts to invite them for the meeting or webinar. And by clicking the link, your invited contacts will be directed to the meeting room that you created without the need of signing in to Skype account. So that's less hassle to those who do not have a Skype account. Hindi na nila kailangan mag-create pa ng Skype account just to attend your meeting or webinar for example. And what's good about this is that it doesn't have any expiration. So for example, in the future, you will be hosting another meeting. You can still use this. Copy again the link and send it to your contacts. Easy as that. And you can also enjoy unlimited calls here for free. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new from this video. If you want to know about the trainings that we offer, please check them on our Facebook page or you can also join in our community. And if you want to be always updated with my ESL tip videos, then please do subscribe and hit that bell button.
Once again, this is Tisha Mats, your coach to your ESL journey.